Hello everybody, welcome back to some Minecraft. We're gonna go on a huge mining trip because I did a lot of mining off camera and that's really no good. So take my bed and we're gonna go down to the mine shaft I have dug. And if you can see here, I added some of the amethyst in here. I kind of wanted it to look like the amethyst is like encroaching on this area in some places and creeping. So like put some here and there. Oh, I need food before I go. These are like sweet berries in terms of hunger. They don't restore much. But they still look pretty and light up the room real nice. Take some rabbit stew. Where is all my food? Take some more glowberries, I guess. Oh, here's my food. Okay. But yeah, we're just gonna go on a long mining trip, look for some diamonds. So I've only found five so far, and two of them are from a chest, and three I found in a vein a long time ago. Oh, and this is my enchanting setup. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. This is the rest of the cave. I'm gonna put a door there so no um mobs can get through. So I don't know how well I have I'm forgetting torches. I'm okay. You cannot mine without torches. I mean, you can, but it's not very smart. Okay, do I got any coal in here? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Okay, now we're ready. I'm gonna get a few more sticks and sleep just in case before we head out. And I'm gonna take the crafting table too, just in case. You never know. I mean, I got like three extra pickaxes in case this one wears out, so I don't think I'll need it. But just in case we end up going through a lot of them, we'll be able to get another one going. And I won't need a furnace because we're going to get a lot of cobblestone. We can just craft one with the table. Anyway, all the way down here in this little corner, it goes all the way down to Y12. Because this is where I've been mining. That's just an air pocket for breath. And then, here's a lot of deep slate. I think I'm gonna branch off in this mine a bit. I love the sound deep slate makes when you mine it, though. It's really nice. Kind of satisfying, like nether brick. Nice. I like how the redstone ore looks in the deep slate too. It's real pretty. I might have to silk touch that when I finally get silk touch. Oh, well, here's another part of the mine. I did not parkour that. I'm bad at parkour. Never ask me to parkour. I'm just gonna plop another torch here. find any deep slate diamonds. And I know they call it deep slate now, but I really like calling it grimstone because grimstone just sounds like way cooler. And there goes my first pickaxe. Luckily I made quite a few, so we're gonna be here a while.
Yeah, I think they changed up the diamond finding. Because um, I remember strip mining in um, 1.16 and finding way more. But I have noticed there's more coal down lower. And there's more redstone and gold, which is pretty nice. Oh, and another part of my strip mine. I guess I mined this area because it had, like, tough in it or something. Might be good to, like, change up directions then, although I could be missing diamonds, so... Maybe doing it like this is better. I don't know. I do know about the swamp thing people keep talking about, the, where you go to the swamp and then you find them. Um, clay patches and go seven from that, but I'm not in, like, a swamp biome. The nearest swamp biome's, like, 500-something blocks away, and I'm just not feeling like that today. I wonder if there's actually any deep slate diamonds. I'm just gonna mine this and look. Cause I've just seen like regular diamonds, I haven't seen any deep slate. And again, I just, I love the sound this makes. I'm definitely going to use this block somewhere. I don't know where yet, but... Man, does it make nice noises. And this is just regular iron. Let's place a torch or two. Oh, we got a cave noise. Spooky time. Spooky time. When I first started playing Minecraft, um, cave noises spooked me so much that I went into the settings and, like, completely turned them off because I was too scared to play with the cave voices on. So I didn't know what they were. I was just, like, I, I was new to Minecraft. You know, when you're new to Minecraft and you're just, like, scared of everything and then you try it out and you're like, oh, it's not so bad. Yeah, I hadn't gotten to that point yet and I was just, like... I don't like the spooky noise. <laughs> I've gotten used to it now because it's like, oh, that's just a cave noise. But back before, I was playing it a lot. The cave noises really spooked me out. Well, and I was playing Minecraft on them. Um, Bedrock, because I don't I don't play Bedrock on my PC, I play it on my Switch. And uh, cave noises happen all the time on Bedrock. I don't know what it is about Bedrock that's like coded differently from Java, but cave noises were going off left and right, and I was like, why is Java not, Java not as noisy as Bedrock when you're in the caves? Bedrock's like really noisy. It's not a bad thing. We found some copper! Deep slate copper. I'm really excited to set the copper out and let it oxidize. It's gonna look so rad. I like how this glows when you walk on it. I like want to make a floor out of it, but I don't know how, how I'm gonna get enough of it. And I still haven't got my diamond pick enchanted how I want it to. I want to make it like, you know, the fortune three. Oh shit! Well, that sucks. But at least I left my bed upstairs because. If I had it with me, I'd have lost my bed. Well, should have had my bucket.
Well, at least I have some iron up here. Oh, that's my armor too. Oh no. Well, I don't think it's that bad. It, it could always be worse. It could always be way worse. But yeah, we're gonna bring a bucket of water with us this time. Where did I put my birch? Oh, here. Okay. Oh, we got a crafting table in there. Okay, we're good. Let's make a few more pickaxes and some armor with the leftover iron from our last mining trip. I should make this faster. Put this. And I know people don't like using logs, but it's what I got, so. Because I think I had all my coal on me. Yeah, I had all my coal. That is some of my food gone, but not all of it. We still got some rabbit stew. And we got melon slices. That's not the greatest food, but it's something, so... This isn't the worst position to be in. It can always you can always lose more stuff to lava if you're not careful. And luckily none of it was enchanted either, so that's another thing. If it was enchanted, I'd be even more upset. I'd be like, oh no. Okay, I already got shoes, so hat. Looks like we just need pants. I think pants takes seven? I'm pretty sure it takes seven. I'm just more upset about my levels because it was almost to level 30 so I could get a good enchantment on my diamond pick. Oh well. At least it wasn't a skeleton though. That's the worst way to die in my opinion. I hate it. I'm just relaxing in a cave and then out of nowhere a creeper falls down and then a skeleton shoots you from behind after you get blown up. Okay, we got pants. And it's dark again already. Well, I'm going to keep my spawn point up here. I don't think we need to sleep when we're down in the cave. And I lost a power one bow. I didn't lose my good bow. I have a power three up here, so that's good that I didn't lose that. We're gonna make another pickaxe and then head back down and see what we can salvage. And maybe a bucket, because I think I need another bucket. Oh wait, I had an iron in here the whole time that was already cooked. Behold, my three brain cells that did not already see the already cooked iron. Oh boy. Okay, we got water this time, so it should be able to put out lava so that doesn't happen again because when I was burning I was just like where's my water bucket I thought I had one in my inventory did not and remember I never said I was a pro gamer <laughs> nor a professional minecrafter Okay.
Okay, let's see where I died. Nope, not down here. I think it was the next one over. Yeah, right here. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get anything back, but at least I put out the lava. Ooh, more iron. where I saw coal somewhere that I skipped over a bit because I was going to come back and fortune it. Oh uh, yeah, right here. Let's just make some torches. But yeah, I'm just glad I didn't lose, like, the only diamond pickaxe I have. That had been way worse. So I'm glad I'm just going with iron pickaxes for the time being. Yes, more iron. Nice. Only two pieces, though. That ain't bad, though. Ooh, more redstone. Now, I'm not a redstoner, I just like seeing redstone when I'm down deep in the ground. And it's not because I'm, like, getting close to diamonds or anything, it's just... I like how the ore looks now. I think the ore texture of redstone just looks better than it used to. Gonna get more coal. I'm wondering if there's actually diamonds this way or if it's just meant to lead me astray because every time I see deep slate my brain's like deep slate diamonds and I'm like no no Lyra there are no deep slate diamonds I don't think I haven't seen any yet tell me if I'm wrong but I don't know I feel like deep slate's kind of like basalt but in the overworld it's just the harder to mine blocks kind of like basalt is but for the overworld now, because it is eaten through my pickaxe, I've noticed. They do exist! Oh my god! I was not being led astray. How many do we get, though? Oh my god. 
for? Unless it's like the big chunky vein and it's actually eight. Are you kidding me? Is it the actually is it the big chunky vein? I love it when it's the big chunky vein. Oh my gosh! Ah, uh, seven. But that ain't bad, though. I think it's seven. Don't judge me. I can't do math. So that's like four. So one, two, three, four, six. I cannot count. I'm okay. Okay. That is actually a lot. That's the most diamonds I've found in this world so far. So that's pretty nice. And I'm going to be leveling up my villagers. I'm going to get a toolsmith and get diamond armor that way. But this was a good find. Maybe I'll live stream getting my village all together and leveling up the villagers. I don't know yet. I'm, I don't know if my computer can handle that because OBS in the corner keeps saying encoding overloaded. So um, I'm a little nervous about trying to live stream. With my computer barely handling OBS as it is, I don't know how much of this footage it's going to end up corrupting either. I wonder if we can find any more deep slate diamonds. That'd be fun. Here's some coal, though. That's nice. Well, that's our second pickaxe down. Ooh, is that lapis? Nice, I need some more lapis for my enchantment table. It sounds like we're near a cave, because I hear it bats. Yeah, lapis. Nice. Lapis. Oh, it's a chunky vein of lapis. I've never seen lapis vein this big. Put a torch right there, too. Get some more of this coal, because I really need experience. I like coal, how coal veins haven't changed. They're still really thick and nice, which is good because I like having lots of coal. I'm wondering if they're going to change when the, finally they get the cave generation in. And it, I'm wondering if this will become the rarest ore in the next update because they said they weren't going to have it spawn down as far as deep slate goes down. So I'm wondering if coal deep slate ore won't exist in the future update. Oh my gosh, we got 63 lapis from that one vein. That's a lot. I think I'm set on Lapis. I was worried I was going to have to make a Cleric Villager for Lapis. I always get kind of nervous for like gravel falling on me when I dig straight up because I have, believe it or not, suffocated in gravel before. Not on purpose. I, I was mining and I left the game and I came back and I um, had suffocated under gravel because I didn't hear it fall when I went to 
take care of the cats. I came back and I was dead and I was just so upset. And I hear lava, so I'm going to be very careful. I have my bucket ready this time. Oh, that's tough. The lava sounds real close next to the stuff. Yeah, it's like right there. Yeah, I think this opens up to like a lava pool or something. It has to, right? Nope, just more death. I'm a nope out of that. No thank you. But I will take this coal. Nice coal. I'm kind of nervous. It sounds like I'm like under a lava pool, but I don't see any, like, the drip texture for lava, so it's either, like, right in front of me or I'm under a lava pool. It's infinitesimally scarier to be under a lava pool, in my opinion. Because if you're above it and you die, that's kind of like your own fault. Like, me dying was my own fault. Well, I think that's enough mining for this video. I'll see you in the next one, because I'm going to be making another video, because I still got a lot of mining to get done, but I want to show you guys the mining. I know mining can be kind of boring, but 